which basically means I won't be funny, sorry. <laughs> Hello everyone and uh, welcome to a world where journalists are dying, where journalism is dying in many places and democracy alongside with it. Some of you may know the World Press Freedom Index, which we publish every year and that basically illustrates threats against journalism, which are mainly physical and legal, and they are on the rise almost everywhere. But along this work, we detect a different set of threats, which are suddenly technical or economic. And that might surprise you a little to hear human rights activists talk about money. But the reason for this is that we begin to understand more and more that independence of our profession is very, very closely tied to uh, financial independence. Or to turn it the other way around, there is no independent press without financial independence. And this is um, a starting point of um, our thinking and the point of uh, departure of um, the Journalism Trust Initiative, which I would like to talk about uh, a little bit. We hear and talk a lot about uh, sustainability, our understanding or belief more and more is that maybe journalism was never self-sustaining but always on life support to some extent and cross-subsidized. So this um, obviously hasn't changed much. What has changed is that we all grew up maybe with content is king, right? Content rules and tech enables content. And in the digital environment, at least this is our feeling um, and how we see it, the other way um, around content is suddenly enabling technology. And this changes the paradigm totally and the rules of the game. And we all know that business models are collapsing and we see failing markets. And I think a look to other industries tells us that failing markets don't correct themselves. So you need some sort of intervention. And of course, the big question is what type of in intervention do we want? Frankly speaking, we are quite dispirited by self-regulatory only approaches by many, many examples. I myself was a member of the high-level group of the EU Commission last year, which was um, quite telling, I must say. But obviously nobody wants um, regulation and media laws only as well. So we are trying to come up with a bit of a, you can say, co-regulatory um, approach of combining both. The starting point is ethical norms, which we know all exist everywhere. And it's, frankly speaking, not rocket science to define what good or bad journalism is. That has been done. And this is the self-regulatory core of us as journalists defining the rules of our industry. Two problems here. One is compliance with the existing edi editorial guidelines and ethical norms. And the second one is that algorithms tend to amplify that just the exact opposite of ethical journalism, but conspiracy theories, falsehood, lies, and fake news. And what the Journalism Trust Initiative tries to do is to create the missing link between existing um, ethical norms of our profession and the algorithmic distribution of journalistic content. So our task is to, to reverse this logic. And what is the logic? The logic of today's environment is that violations of ethical norms of journalism are being rewarded. And when we say we want to reverse it, we want to create incentives and benefits for compliance with ethical norms of journalism. Now, how are we going to do this? We believe what's really needed are machine-readable signals that identify compliance with journalistic professional norms. And this is basically what we are creating by means of a very ancient instrument, which is ISO, so the official standard-setting instrument under guidelines of ISO. We have started this about a year ago with a very inclusive um, process with more than 120 stakeholders to develop this instrument, this standard. And the main reason for this instrument is that it exists already. It's an infrastructure which is out there, which is scalable, which is tested, and maybe most importantly, which is voluntary. It's the opposite of a law. And of course, if something is voluntary, you need strong benefits. Why would you go the extra mile and do it and conform with an ISO standard? Mainly be because it pays off. Because, and this is, I think, the main goal, to align advertising spending with compliance with ethical norms in journalism and thus support and remonetize journalism worthy of its name. I know it's incredibly complex and I'm happy to take questions afterwards, so please hit me up and thank you very much. <laughs>